But I would say, I'm not afraid of dying, I'm just afraid of not living, because ultimately, mm. as an atheist, I don't believe there's anything after death, because True. I don't see good enough evidence for it. That's to say that I... Get in there! That is not how you handshake in America. Alright, let me uh, reset the camera real quick. I'd rather not be recorded. You don't want to be recorded? Mind? Yeah. I'm kind of doing this to record people. Okay. If, sure. if, if, if... I'm not going to say anything that crazy. I just... Just my preference. Okay. Um, I I normally don't mind having the... Com uh, doing a non-recorded talk, but yeah. since it came all the way over here, I'd like to do more recorded talks. It would be cool sure. to just stuck with that. Do you have anything in mind you want to talk about? Literally anything you wanted to talk about for like five minutes. Okay. Um, Would you mind if I kept the recorded it? It's it's yeah. I okay, mean, what, cool. what purposes are you using it for? I'm trying to show that there's value to a face to face communication compared to like texting over the phone or like over, over what fa medium? Facebook Messenger okay, stuff sure. like that. That there's value in face to face. I respect that. That there's ways okay. to have conversations about anything with anyone, regardless of what they look like, the beliefs, oh, backgrounds, what are you whatever. Doctoring? Uh, biochemistry. Cool. Yeah. And so I go to parks and I go to campuses and I just set up a table. I think it's a really nice contrast between what that guy's that's, doing over there. See, that's right, exa exactly and what's why. going on that was, here. That's what, what was, what was my, on my mind here was. And I'm not a part of any religious how effective organization. Is it? Yeah. I'm literally just trying to have a conversation with someone in a cordial way. How effective do you think that? Obviously, you've got a you've got a pretty solid opinion on this, but how effective do you think it is for them to be, for for their method of, of information persuasion, which is. Primarily yelling, primarily accusational. I think some people buy into the confidence, to be perfectly honest with you, yeah. but it's not very much. But it's so cheap for them to do that, that it's worth it. Mitchell! Yo! I'm having a five-minute chat. <laughs> I, I, was, I was studying for my PCHEM exam for a couple hours, and then I went back to that for a few minutes. Yeah. This seems like a real thing. But do you want to try it? Yeah, Out? sure. Okay, cool. And you don't mind just to chat about anything. And you don't mind for a record, right? That's fine. That's okay. Right. So, hi, I'm Ty. Eric again. Eric again. <laughs> Eric. Eric. So, since the thing with that guy is over there, would you mind if we had a chat about something sure. that you strongly believe is true, or something you know um, you can't be wrong about? Oh, yeah, there's like, nothing I know I can't be wrong about. Oh, that's great. I mean, we could we could we could have a discussion about that in itself. Is there is there anything? What's the most thing that you're absolutely sure about? What's closest to absolute sure? About? Um. I think the thing that I would be closest to being absolutely sure, which is what supports my belief of nothing being above suspicion or above argument, above discussion, um, would be that belief in itself, which is um, I'm absolutely sure that the most effective way that I can um, build up my belief system to be the best that it can be, mm -hmm. obviously that's subjective, okay. is to allow it to be open to any reasonable criticism or argument and to always be questioning it. Are you even 100% about that? 100% yeah, confident? I think so. You're 100% confident about that? Or as close as I can get. Okay, okay. Because it would I mean, be because, ironic because ultimately, that yeah, ultimately, <laughs> if somebody, ultimately, if somebody, you know, if I if I converted to some religion and I sure. was 100% confident in that, then it would be, you know, impossible for me. There are some people who are very confident about, like, for example, a God existing. Yeah. What... Is Confidence detriment? doesn't bother me. It's just when people are so confident in their beliefs that they're unwilling to question it, like unwilling to put to put logical reason against it. Because, in my opinion, that's when it becomes. Oh, I didn't start the timer. I'm so sorry. It's fine. And you can get up anytime you want. To. It's good. Okay. In my opinion, that's that's when it becomes a danger to a potential danger to society and other people. Okay. Why is it a danger? Is it? And I'm going to throw something out here. Is it because their actions are informed by their beliefs? So if they have closed-minded beliefs. No, not necessarily. Beliefs? Okay. Why? Um, Where's the danger? The danger is because when you are so certain of any belief, um, I mean, religious or otherwise, literally any belief, um, that you would not question it for any reason, then there are, and holy books do a, you know, are, have an outsized effect in this, there are plenty of, of violent and um, violent phrases and verses in every holy book that I've read thus far. Mm -hmm which advocate all sorts of terrible things against people. And so if you're not willing to question your beliefs for anything, mm -hmm. then you might come up across, up, up across that verse and say, if I truly want to be to want to want to follow my beliefs that I honestly believe 100% mm -hmm. without question, mm -hmm. the only way for me to do that is to hurt somebody else. Mm. So that's why it becomes dangerous. Eric, can I throw something at you? Sure. If I were to present to you a holy book for the religion, and I normally always ask 
very gentle, I'm not challenging offended by seeing the holy book. But if I, if I read any <laughs> holy book that had zero violence in it whatsoever, it was all about peace and love and how our God wants you to have peace and love, blah, blah, blah. Would that confirm to you that the book's true? That there was no violence in that book? As... Does something not being violent make it more true? No, I mean, there's there's plenty of violent things that are true. So what's more what's your limiter for that's true. what's your limiter for determining if something's true compared to if something's not true? There is no perfect metric. Mm. It's that's that's why I always go back to that rule or belief or whatever of of questioning it. Right? I like it because you know. I mean, I, if there was a book that was truly that great, um, then I, I, I could say, I would say I could, I could believe in it to the point of belief. Sure. Um, but it wouldn't really be belief mm. because it would be verified and always under, always never, never above question. I'm going to throw out some of the things that I heard since I started setting up here. Um, I heard that there were some people who believe that it's true using faith. Does faith have any value to you as far as a determining mechanism of something's true or not true? Um, not really. And why or why not? Because I, I see faith as contrary to to verify to to, to verifying something. Mm. Um, and that's not to say that How I do you, don't. What do you mean by that? To to have faith in something means that you trust without verification, right? Most likely, yeah. I think um, it's a common reasonable definition. definition, yeah. Yeah. And so, although I certainly have confidence, and see, faith could be a, re- faith would be a reasonable word. Like, I have faith in my, par- in, the, in the consistency of my parents to look out for what's best for me as they see mm. fit, right? Yeah. I may disagree with them, but I still, I still trust and see, that's where I think faith is a little bit of a testy word because it so, has so many negative logical connotations to me mm. that I resist using it. Mm. Um, although if it was defined in a context where you just, it just means you're putting your belief in someone past which you can immediately verify. I get it. So I don't know everything that goes on my, on my parents' minds, but right. I still faith or tr- have faith or trust that they are have, have my best interests. Can I throw a... Go for it. Are you currently convinced of any God claim? No. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think there's good enough evidence for it. Is an atheist a good way of defining what your position is at right now? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm one too. It's not a big deal. Um, are you scared of hell? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I mean, sorry. when I you... Love I'm... I'm and, and another just, you know, side, side point. Sure. Um, but I would say... I, I've never been, not never, that's not true. I used to be religious, okay. quite religious, and my journey towards being atheist actually was in a pursuit of yeah, proving exactly my religion. And I, is, yeah. I'm still on that track right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, but I would say I'm not afraid of dying, I'm just afraid of not living because ultimately, mm. as an atheist, I don't believe there's anything after death because true. I don't see good enough evidence for it. That's to say that I know it won't happen, anything will happen, yeah. but I don't have any good reason to exactly. believe that. It's exactly. True. So because well if somebody presents the evidence right for God, that I would, I would absolutely be, I would, I would change my belief right then. But or I may else not I'd be worship it. But I may not worship that God. But fair, I'll definitely fair. at least be open that yeah, that God's true. Because I mean, there's there's certain very difficult, I mean, impossible things to reconcile in my mind, which is if if there's an all powerful God, which is how could an all-powerful God so, allow Eric, childhood cancer? And if and if he does, yeah. is he really worthy of worship? Right. Like, you know, My big thing is... There's a lot is, of issues there. As an atheist talking to another atheist, I find that a lot of people use substandard methods to come to the high confidence that their God exists. Mm-hmm. But ultimately their faith isn't justified because they have unreliable methods of supporting it on like faith and stuff. I'm and wondering, oftentimes. I noticed that before we were talking, there was some apprehension especially with regard to, like, recording. What was that based in? Um, it was based in, a, I would say, a lack of trust in a stranger, kind of. Um, okay. Not that I inherently have I'm any not... problem with a random person, but to allow you to record gives you some power over what I've said here. I totally understand. And so it's entirely possible that something could be taken out of context and misinterpreted. Sure. Or even that I said something that was unreasonable and then maybe I changed my mind after exactly. afterwards. I can tell you right now, if you take a card and you email me or text sure. me and say, actually, I didn't really like that interview we did. We want to take it off the internet. I'd be totally open to doing that. 
I'm, I could even I'm blow fine your with face this, or whatever. I'm fine with this being yeah. on the internet. Yeah. It doesn't... Um, but I, I just... I am really interested in how this table looks like to many different kinds of people. Yeah. It surprisingly attracts a lot of different kinds of people, and I try to make it as least assuming as possible. I would say why it was attractive to me, not that that was necessarily a question, but <laughs> I enjoy talking in general, so, um, was because I, I find their rantings, as I would call it, um, amusing. Sure. But I don't really... I don't really appreciate when people rise to the bait and yell because some people do, some people really are, you know, their barriers are low enough or weak enough that they really can get past and, and emotionally hurt someone just by yelling at them, right? And so that's Absolutely when, I, true. That's when it, it kind of bothers me because some people will yell back, back at them and it, my, my view of arguments is if you start yelling, you've already lost the argument. And so their entire purpose to me, as, as in like, how how they wish to convert people is to yeah. is just it's just loud and not necessarily through logical consistency. Sure. And so if you rise to the bait, then right. you've already kind of lost because yes. you're not, not calmly that, thinking about it. From but that person. yelling platform is a territory they're much more comfortable in. That's fair. And even though it appears that they're ranting, they are very much more now guided by intuition because they're so comfortable in that environment. Whereas the other one's more or less guided by emotion, which I makes would largely agree. Persuasion by rhetoric much more easy to do, and it's it's in, it's interesting and ironic in a sad way that on a college campus, well, people would people would be so enticed to that. I understand what you mean, but this is a free speech area. I think I'm, I, we're all exercising our right, right. to be I just an mean audience to it because as a, as a place of higher learning, our, our goal is to put behind our irrational ways, whatever they be, not necessarily belief. No, I understand what um, you mean. But just put, put behind irrational beliefs and, and rise to some, something more logical. And Less something, decisive. At yeah, well, yeah, and something that can further, the, well, as an engineer, a lot of, some things are decisive. But, uh, but Engineering uh, too, chemical yeah. engineering, yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay, hey, yeah. look at you. Nice, engineer. nice. Um, but ri rise to something that's, you know, a greater, and I realize that's subjective, but mm. something that's not as privy or as likely to just to have these random yelling arguments about sure you know yeah hey Eric I enjoyed this chat I did as well you gotta study I, for I could PK. For, I really do <laughs> don't let me distract you I was you. already I doing it I but know this, what that life is like this, this, this calmed me down far more than <laughs> laughing at them so cool cool appreciate it alright see it uh, when, how often are you here I'm curious uh, I love these kind of discussions so if you I'm always here when I am here so if you ever see me again I've got you you've got nothing okay yeah <laughs> see you around man what do you think? That's really good. Or it, yeah. So. Do you have enough conclusive evidence to get you to 98% that God exists? And you don't have to say it, I don't know right now, but like, do you think position is justified? No. It's tough to think about. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough. Aaron, I really appreciate this. Thank effort. you. Yeah.